Good morning dear viewers, we've got a very busy weekend on the Shyback channel because the weather is quite fine. It was actually very sunny like an hour ago. So I'm gonna hit the road in an hour or two, but first off we've got this dude waiting to be riding with me, but still I haven't done the in-depth review. So this is the initial part, uh, part one, and then tomorrow, Sunday, or the day after that, Monday, I'm gonna rip it apart and do the quality check. So we're gonna weigh all the parts, we're gonna look inside the frame for some wrinkles and for the quality. So stay tuned for that. Today, uh, I'm gonna just share with you features, real weight, what I like, what I don't like, and what I would definitely wanna have from this bike. Uh, let's just start by saying that uh, this is not a paid uh, video or series of videos. Uh, some of you have been asking me, how did I got this bike? Well. I've been conducting um, Cannondale since July last year, so it's been almost one and a half year when I started my Polish channel, Shy Bike, called, also called Shy Bike. And I said that I'm a vlogger, uh, I've been riding Cannondale for 20 years, I love Cannondales. I've been sending them some suggestions also, and they finally replied a couple of weeks ago saying, all right, you wanna have it? You're gonna have this one and Super 6. Super 6 is different deal, I'm gonna share that with you later. But they gave me like very, very, very good discount on the 2017 model and I don't have to pay for it right now. I have a couple of months to collect the money, which is so good for me. I, I wouldn't be able to afford it even in this uh, very, very discounted price. Thank you, Cannondale. And guys, we're gonna just use this bike for my racing. I'm working hard uh, training through whole the, uh, whole the winter. First thing, this is Cannondale FSI Carbon 2, non-high mode, so we don't have high modulus carbon fiber, which would be a bit stiffer and 2 to 250 grams lighter. Um, and this cost 3,500 pounds or 4,200 dollars. Really expensive one, guys. This, this is the uh, racing weapon, and I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, do those components fit the price or not? Uh, let me start with four things that I would definitely want to have from, from this bike and the rest doesn't even matter. And one thing that can and should definitely change on it. Which one do you want to first? Let's start with the, with the one I already uh, have changed, that's the saddle. So, Cannondale, uh, this bike uh, uh, on my scale sh is showing 10.0 kilos, so 10 kilos whole bike for this $42,300 retail price. Uh, but the saddle I already changed, this is my Aspite San Marco because uh, I prefer a cutout but also the saddle original one is already on my killer, that's the Pro logo. It looks nice, uh, it seems to be comfortable but it's super heavy, it's over 300 grams on my scale, 300 versus 180. Even from a marketing standpoint, a $4,200 bike weighing 10 kilos or 9.8 kilos, that makes a difference really. And uh, maybe, you know, the, the price difference for us on, as a retail price would be between and that one maybe, I don't know, $50, but for Cannondale as a manufacturer, definitely less. Make some good deals and put better saddles, lighter saddles and also good saddles uh, to those bikes because now it's um, exactly 9.82 kilos on my scale. Love it! Four things I definitely want to have. Frame, lefty, crankset, seat post, period. Frame, awesome, we're gonna go to the features in a second. I'm gonna try to speak short. Lefty, that's the best um, fork for myself, but don't worry guys, I'm gonna share with you pros and cons. It has some, it definitely has. Um, and this, I already made the review of the uh, Road One, super stiff, very light, very good. Uh, this, this is the stiffest crankset uh, of Cannondale, also quite expensive. Uh, with some nice features for the uh, chain rings, I'm gonna do another episode about that. And then the safe, carbon safe um, seat post from Cannondale, 27.2, bending really nicely to the, to, the, to the rear. But it doesn't bend like that, I would say it bends like that. Which is better, we don't go off <laughs> uh, to the back uh, when it really bends and it, um, and it makes the comfort 
uh, much better. So I like it, it's more compliant. These are the four parts I really want to have, the rest can be Dior and I can just, you know, go against the world. Uh, I would go for Dior and go for any races. But let's see what we have for this price. Let's start with Shimano because we have very little from Shimano and that's the XTR re-derailer and then XT 1142 cassette plus XT shifter. So this is M8000 uh, and the chain. That's it uh, from Shimano. The change, gear change so far is really good. Um, we'll just talk about it also later. This, this should be short. Uh, and then we have Magura MT Race hydraulic disc brakes with 180 rotor in the front, 160 in the rear. I would say 160 is just enough for me. But that's it. And then most of the parts come actually from Cannondale. Um, and that would be the wheels, you already know the seat post. We have alloy 110 millimeters long, minus five degree stem. Nice looking, I like it. And then we have Cannondale C1 carbon uh, handlebars, um, 77 centimeters measured uh, by me. And then we have Cannondale C0 uh, wheels, carbon rims, alloy hubs. Cannondale, they have patent and they make their own crank set and the frame and the lefty. I'm not sure about the wheels, maybe they just like outsource it. But these are carbon, uh, lacing is good, so we're gonna see how it works out. These are tubeless ready and they come with a set of uh, valves and tape for the tubeless. Of course, Schwalbe Racing Ralph is tubeless ready, so we're gonna go uh, for tubeless definitely uh, on this bike. And then the weight will go even uh, more down. And now features of the frame color the color this is the midnight guys i really recommend you <laughs> you buy this one i was thinking about something like more green because i love these green colors of cannondale but this deep blue metallic color uh, in the shiny sun oh man it looks so good uh, this isn't yellow it isn't green it is something in between <laughs> uh, the yellow is on my killer that's the yellow I would say the green is on super six and this is in between which is very good because it will fit to my shoes it will fit to my whole kit which is uh, white black and green plus baby blue color down here with the FSI sign really nice one BB30 same color on the stickers these are stickers uh, on the wheels and here in the rear on the outside of the chain stays and here on the bottom of the seat stays Canadian sign, really awesome looking. All right, here we have ballistic carbon layup, uh, high impact, both carbon fiber and resin. This is used for military, like in weaponry uh, also. So Canada doesn't only talk uh, about uh, low weight here, but also strength, not only stiffness, but strength. So we'll definitely do some crazy stuff with this bike. Uh, that's for sure. We have oversized bearings in the head tube. Head tube is um, really, really like robust. It is not tapered, both bearings 1.5. Strong as always for Cannondale. In the rear, super important feature, AI system, which is a stands for asymmetrical integration. That means those two stays have been moved outwards by six millimeters. Uh, Canada has achieved a couple of things with doing that. First, stiffer uh, rear end for the frame. Second, more space for the wheel dust, more, uh, more symmetrical wheel lacing. Third, we have lots of clearance for the tire and all the dirt, mud, anything you would uh, go uh, through. That's really good. And the chain stays have 43 centimeters, just as long <laughs> as my 26 inch bike uh, killer. So that's really good. One question, uh, is then the rear wheel symmetrical? Uh, I would not say so. Uh, somewhere in the, on the internet we can read that since the frame is asymmetrical, then the wheel is symmetrical on this bike. Um, but check out this one. Drive, drive side, non-drive. Drive, non-drive. 
uh, some people just make laugh of me saying then what do you do what are you doing this is not the guitar this is the easy way to check out for the um, wheel spokes tension the spokes on the drive side have higher tension that would mean that the wheel is close to being symmetrical but still isn't so uh, this is superiority in terms of the wheel strength and stiffness that's the best way to build a rear uh, end of the bike period so this will be way better than any other wheels on any other bikes without the system because other bikes will have really short uh, spokes on the drive side comparing to the non-drive side. We're gonna measure that um, in details but I would say it is close to being symmetrical but not 100% symmetrical. All right. A great plus for Canada is that the tension of those spokes on each side is super even so those spokes have like, ex like extremely um, evenly done lacing. Oh, I hope it, it, it was right. But uh, you know what I mean, it's really good done, the, the wheels are super straight, which is not that, which we, we're not that sure when buying a new bike. Alright, we've got this cover, let's go to the left side to look for the lefty and some frames um, features and that will be it. The main thing I want to show you on the left side is lefty, definitely, this is the alloy one. Uh, 2.0 XLR, 100 millimeters of travel, 29er uh, certainly, with the XLR, so it has the, uh, the hydraulic lockout. Now it's open, now it's locked. When it's locked, it will still respond to some strong uh, impacts, which is really good about this uh, fork. Uh, this is the uh, hybrid uh, needle bearings technology, that means we have needle bearings here inside the, the, the bike, inside the fork and here we have bushings, yes, how it works, Bear needle bearings, press bushing here, uh, I will tell you that and we'll do a video about that. We have of course double crowned fork, really stiff here plus stiff head tube, very very good and the fork itself is tapered so it is wider here and thinner down there. We're gonna measure that uh, later. Uh, that's the fork I really uh, I really love. We have through axles because uh, lefties have through axles and this one will have uh, also offset for the large frame. It has 55 millimeters offset plus 69.8 degree uh, on the head tube. This should be a weapon for, for cross country. We'll see how it works for us. Uh, by the way, each frame size will have different uh, angle and also uh, those uh, small sizes will have less uh, of um, offset. So everything is really tuned up for cross country. Uh, the system is tuned up. This one is already updated with two spring uh, upgrade. So we've got that covered. PF30, you've been asking me, Dan, tell us about it after some hundreds of kilometers of abusing I'm gonna definitely do that so if it if it's not silent if there will be any problems uh, I'm gonna tell you that by the way you see the bike on the bike stand it is not being pressed you never press your carbon fiber so just just to make sure I, I haven't done this this is the rear end from from the left side uh, as I said 160 180 millimeters rotors I love the frame so that's it about the bike. Now I'm gonna rip it apart. If you have any detailed questions, put those in the comment because uh, I will tell you pretty much everything about it. And then I will do some changes in terms of uh, components because since I have my dream bike, I, I also wanna have my dream components. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited about the bike. I am Canada Freak, but you can expect me to tell you about just anything that I would not like about the bike. We'll see that and we'll see tomorrow or maybe even after maybe eight hours uh, on this channel. Thanks for watching once more. Bye.